I like video games. I like to delve into the design of video games. I like to research the lore of video games. And of course, I like to play video games. And here, sometimes I even enjoy watching them. Jimmy Kimmel, if you didn't know, criticised this approach and millions of other people's choices to watch others play video games on his chat show the other day by stating, I suggested that watching other people playing video games is a double waste of time. Watching people play video games isn't the same as watching people play football. It's like watching people play fantasy football. It's one more step removed from human activity. Jimmy Kimmel is unfathomably, objectively, incorrect. He's wrong. I am a great believer that video games are art. Art is something that, in my opinion, is the result of someone creating an object or situation that provokes a reaction from the viewer. And that's exactly what video games are. They're designed to provoke something within the player, whether it be awe, competitiveness, sadness, and plenty more. Now, imagine you're staring at a piece of art by itself on a wall. It's there, it's tangible, and you have your own interpretation of it. But now imagine you have one other person stood right next to you, looking at the same piece of art, the exact same one. Now there's a discussion, now they've shared opinions, or maybe even contrasting opinions. The point is that you're sharing the experience with someone else. This is exactly what people experience when watching a Let's Play, or a walkthrough, or a commentary, or a live stream, or an esports tournament. A shared reaction. To say that it's a step removed from human activity is absolutely ridiculously absurd because sharing experiences and reactions with other people is one of the most human things you can do. It's quite literally humans immersely connecting with other humans and if that isn't a huge example of what it is to be human then I don't know what to say. Another example of this could be how when someone comes back from holiday and they say, oh, look, look at this great picture or this great video I got of this certain uh, landmark while I was on holiday. And you look at it and you're like, wow, that's great and stuff like that. How is that not different from watching someone playing a video game? I mean, it's something that they've clearly enjoyed and now they're transmitting to you through this either static image or moving image. And they're saying, look at this. What do you think of this? And you're saying, wow, that's great. You're experiencing it together. And... Once more, it's a maybe a step away through the camera. I mean, you know, it's not your video, it's not your experience, but it's still provoking an experience and reaction in your mind. All it is is that you yourself haven't experienced it firsthand, but you're still getting that same reaction. I mean, take this channel for example. We upload a multitude of content from RuneScape to Call of Duty to smaller indie games to Grand Theft Auto to everything else, and these videos aren't designed to simply be. They're designed to cause some sort of discussion or reaction from the viewer. And surely this is the same concept as Jimmy Kimmel's show. I mean, it's designed to entertain the viewer, right? He does realise that he's on a chat show, provoking reactions from the viewer. So surely that's the exact same reason what we do. Like, we, what, what, why we do what we do, Jimmy. I mean, we're entertainers, artists and teachers just like you and millions of others. So let us have the freedom to create and inspire as we already do. In my opinion, you know, we do it 10 times better than most of the people on television today. I can't remember the last time I switched on my television set and watched the chat show because everything I need, everything I ever wanted in terms of information, entertainment is all on the internet. And it's got to that point where the internet is a much more powerful um, system than the television. I mean, it's so easy to get hooked up to the internet and just search at your heart's content. And I feel like people aren't grasping the concept that these sports and these entertainment shows are being overtaken by YouTube and Twitch and YouTube gaming. They're being overtaken because it's so easy to just search up what you want. I mean, on TV, there's channels that only play certain shows at certain times of the day, but if I wanted to watch an episode of, I don't know, Game of Thrones, I could search it up on the internet. Illegally, rather. But still, I could still do it. Jimmy Kimmel's argument is completely invalid because he states that, one, why watch video games when you could, 
you know, play video games yourself, even though he says that's another waste of time as well, well, why would we watch your chat show if we could chat to people ourselves? Think about that. Number two, he says it's a step away from human activity. Completely incorrect. There's a sense of community and, you know, togetherness, if that's even a word. And it drives us to continue to create and play and watch. And it's just, it's absolutely absurd. And if those aren't, you know, human constructs to play, to watch, to learn, to discover, to explore, then... I don't know what else is because those are exactly the types of things you'll find when watching a Twitch stream or a YouTube stream or a YouTube video. You'll find all of those constructs and more. And that's why, that's why Jimmy Kimmel is wrong. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any thoughts on the topic, leave them down below. We love to hear your comments and reactions because that's what we video makers do. And have a nice day. Not you, Jimmy Kimmel. You're a jerk.